Okay, um, in today's video, we are going to talk about how to quickly tune a snare in, uh, in uh, a not a very sounding good snare into a uh, acceptable snare for live settings. We're not we're not talking about like super um, professional, super detailed recording thing. We're just talking about a live set where you need um, a certain pitch okay a certain tension a certain um a snare wire sound okay that's the first thing and you you need a certain um you need a certain tone um to 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 present to your audience um so for this snare we've got the tone we've got our pitch um we've got our um our um tension it's tight enough for a jazz set but um, I don't know if you can see. Uh, you can hear from from my phone. It's got different, a very different um, uh, sound going on. Uh, different overtone going on on this um, snare, and that might caused by uh, a previous drummer who play and tune the snare and uh, like pretty low or pretty high and. He or she doesn't really uh, didn't really know how to tune the snare, so so the snare uh, becomes um, sounding not that good. Okay, so what what we're gonna do is we we need to um, set this snare into a um, I would say um, uh, default setting. You know, uh, like you're recording thing. Okay, you you need a de default setting before you get everything done okay so basically this snare what i want you to check is that it's got no wrinkles okay it's not a uh, nicely sit on the on the hoop and the drum head is uh, nicely sit okay and you want to make sure that the tone is close enough to your desired tone okay so the tension um is is fine but the tone is muddy it's not clear enough like this one where overtone is happening all over the drums okay so we need a default setting right so um, in this case every single lug has been uh, attached to the rim for sure and has given enough um, uh, force to the rim okay so um, we're starting from here Okay, so you pick uh, a random uh, lug, and you start it to. So it's it's actually um, a drum key right here. So you want to detune that so all the way down to zero. Okay, so you can see that it's losing. I can you can really um, play with fingers, and then I want you to make sure that it's attached to the rim, so it doesn't really move around that much. Okay, so it attached to the rim. And then I want you to turn, um, so um, so that's attached to the rim. It doesn't really move around, and that's good. And I want you to turn, uh, turn one whole turn, which is two half turn. Okay, so I did two half turn. And then I want to do the same thing on this one. Okay, so um, detune and attach the rim and one half turn and another half turn. And then I want to do the cross of this one. So you want to make sure that you're doing cross, okay? So we've done this line um, before, and we're gonna move on to this and this one. So you can you can choose this or this one. It doesn't really matter. So um, detune this one, and then one, two, or like that. And detune this one, which is tight, okay? And one. So, all right, and then we've done this cross and we're gonna do this cross, okay? So I'll start from here. It doesn't really matter where we start, but remember to, to do the cross kind of thing, you know? So one, two, got two, and then detune that, that lug, and make sure that it's attached, nice and loose. All right, one, two, all right. Then here, tight. One, two. 
All right. Attach the drum. One, two. All right. Okay, you can see the tone is much lower than we expected, okay? And that is because we only tune one whole turn, whole turn on each lug, okay? So, this is a pretty good default setting, but it's more like a vintage rock kind of, kind of sound, you know? So, we don't want this, okay? And if you want lower, you can you can actually okay. So this is the default setting that we're looking for, and we are gonna tune that to a jazz kind of snare. So in this video, we're not gonna talk about the bottom head because the bottom head is much um, much more uh, you know complex complicated uh, complicated by uh, compared to the to the top one. So we're gonna do that one more time. So we started from there, the pre previous one. We're gonna start with a different cross. So we start from this cross, right? We're gonna start from this cross instead, okay? Just to make sure that it's um, that has fair um, amount of force, okay? We're gonna start from this one. Detune that, okay? And then attach the drum. This time we want it to be a little higher, right? So we want it to be um, three half time, which is one, uh, one whole turn like this, and one half turn. All right, like that, and then same thing here. And one thing to note is I don't want you to lose both um, lugs and then start tuning. I want you to lose one lug and tune one lug and lose one uh, one lug and tune one lug, okay? And that's uh, because of some mechanism reason, okay? I don't want to explain blame that, but that's true, you know? You won't get a very um, decent tone by doing that, you know, so. We're gonna do that. So attach the drum. It's actually like that. One, two, three, like that. And then another cross starting from here. Attach the drum. One, two, three. All right. Same thing here. Okay. So this is not a very uh, accurate tuning. So. You want to make sure that you tune the best you can before a um, like studio studio recording session. You know, three. It's pretty good. The note is still there. One, two, three, and then. Okay, we got a pretty. Pretty nice sounding snare. The note is still muddy, so, but we're, we we uh, we have made made sure that um, every lug ha is uh, is the same, okay? Especially the the crossing one. So this lug, the tension of this lug and this lug is pretty much the same. It's really close, but we haven't uh, matched each. Um, each line, yeah. So maybe this one is lower. Uh, maybe one. Uh, this one is higher. Maybe this one is higher. This one is lower. Maybe. So we're gonna check that, and we're gonna actually mute the bottom head to do that. So. Okay. So as you can see, I don't know if you you can. These two are pretty similar. Th these are a little bit higher, but we're gonna fix that um, in a few minutes, okay? So these two are pretty similar, but these two are really, uh, you know, these two are really low and these two are really, really high. So we're gonna do that one more time. One, two, three, okay? So attach the drum and one, two, Three, all right. Same thing here. Uh, okay. One, two, three. Right there. Same thing here. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, 
right, right there. Okay, so that's pretty even now. Okay, so you can see these two are a little higher and these two are a little lower and these two are really, really similar. So we're gonna tune that down just a little bit. And then we're gonna tune these two up just a little bit, all right? And then, Okay, we have a pure tone right now, but uh, as I as I mentioned a lot of times, this is not a very accurate tuning way. So yeah, but uh, you can actually, um, you know, you can actually ask for a one note. Um, uh, you can ask for a piano to uh, to press an E. Oh, I usually play, uh, tune an E right here. I think this is close to F. Um, but yeah, that's just that's just the method, you know. You can really play some jazz, jazzy stuff on this one. thing to mention one more time okay you want to make sure um, the drum that you that you come in and you see the uh, you see that the the house kit and you 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 saw the, the kit and you say oh that's pretty and you hit and that sounds like shit but it's not that bad at least that has a fair amount of pressure already um, applied to the hook okay so if if you come come into to the to the venue and you saw a completely detuned and a few lugs even not on 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 the snare and you probably want to bring your own snare but if you go to smalls and um some some ni nicer clubs um where they have a decent a snare drum which have enough enough pressure have already put on the hook you can apply this uh, method uh, to the to the drum, and I guarantee you that will really get some gig for you. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. Hope hopefully this is help helpful, and I'll see you next time.